Good morning. Today we're going to be working on complex fractions. A complex fraction is a fraction or a rational expression that contain other fractions in its numerator or denominator. So it's a fraction in a fraction. Um, here are some examples. You could have something like one half over two thirds or x plus one over y over y plus one over x. Then we have a plus one over a squared minus nine over two over a plus three. Okay, this right here, the fraction bar means divided by, okay? And there's two ways of sol well, simplifying these, I should say. Um, one is re um, method number one is treated as a division problem. Method number two is multiply the numerator and denominator by the LCD. I don't mind um, if you do it either way, you know, whichever way you want to do it, it's fine. Just um, pick a way you're comfortable with doing and do it. I do about half one way and half the other way. So, um, you know, if you're comfortable with one way, just do it that way. Okay, let's take a look at method number one first. And method number one was we're gonna treat it as a division problem. Okay, so let's just do this simple little problem right here um, with rational numbers because rational expressions will work the exact same way. Okay, so this really means one half. Remember that this is divided by, divided by two thirds. Okay, now we're back to what we were doing the other day. So this leads us to one half times three over two. Um, once it is multiplication, we look to see if there's any cross canceling. There isn't here, so we multiply straight across and go one times three is three, two times two is four. So three fourths. Okay, so this exact same um, method works for the complex um, rational expressions. Okay, so let's look at this here. This means four over x minus one, then divided by six over x. Okay, we don't like to divide with fractions. We want to change that into multiplication. So four over x minus one times x over six. Okay, so here's the point where if you can do some cross canceling, this is where you do it. So I'm gonna go, okay, two goes in here twice, two goes in here three times. Then you cannot cancel these guys, they have to be exactly the same. And this one has that minus one tag to it, so you can't cancel there. So multiply straight across, I'll get two x down here, I'll get three times x minus one, like that. Okay, and leave it in factored form at this point. Okay, I actually prefer when I have a problem that looks like this, one fraction over one fraction, I actually prefer to use method number one. Okay, now down here, I actually have two fractions. I'm gonna change, put that over one. It helps me line stuff up. Um, I have two fractions up here and two down here. So on this one, I actually would prefer to use method number two, but I'm going to show you how to do it in method number one. Okay, so we need to make this one fraction up here and one fraction down here. So I need to combine these and make it one fraction. And to combine those, I need a common denominator. In this case, my common denominator, my LCD is gonna be X. So I'm gonna multiply this by X and this by X. And when I do that work there, I will get one over X plus X over X. Okay, now that I have a common denominator, I can add together the numerators and I'm gonna switch the order here to put it in standard forms and get X plus one over X. Okay, now I need to combine these guys into one fraction. 
And since it's addition right there, I need a common denominator, which is going to be x over x. That is multiplying by 1, right? So it's not changing the value. This will give me a negative 1 over x plus x over x. All right, so I'm going to combine my numerators and put it over my common denominator. And I'm going to switch those guys around while I'm here and put it in standard form, getting x minus 1 over my x. Okay, and this is all over that. Okay, so that really means x plus 1 over x divided by this. Okay, but we don't want to divide, we want to multiply. And I am going to flip this upside down. X minus 1, like that. Okay, so now that it's multiplication, we can cancel. Those guys cancel right there. These guys do not cancel. They have to be exactly the same to cancel. Then I go straight across, and I'll get x plus 1 over x minus 1. Do not cancel out those x's. Remember, you can't cancel out across the plus and minus sign right there. So if you're tempted to do it, put it in parentheses like that. Okay. Next problem. Same type of thing as what we just did. Okay, I need to make all those um, a fraction. Now I need to combine that, make it one fraction, combine that, make it one fraction. Okay, so to combine these guys here, I need a common denominator, which is going to be x squared. Go straight across, and I'll get x squared minus 4 over x squared. Down here, my common denominator again is x squared, so I'm going to do this one by an x squared. I'm going to do this one by an x. Okay, then when I go straight across, I'll get an x squared minus x minus 6, and that's all over x squared. Okay, so get the big fraction bar there. Okay, so let's set this up now. So I got x squared minus 4 over an x squared times, okay, now we're going to flip this one here and get an x squared minus, oops, just an x squared, sorry, that's not there. And down here we got an x squared minus x minus 6. Okay, so these guys here are going to cancel out because they're exactly the same. I need to factor this one and this one to see what I have. So this one here is going to give me an x plus 2, x minus 2, a difference of squares. This one down here, I'm going to have um, an x minus 3 and an x plus 2. Multiply them together, gives me negative 6. Add them together, gives me that negative 1. All right, now it's there. We can cancel those guys out, and my answer is going to be x minus 2 over x minus 3. Okay, next one here. Okay, this one's already one fraction, so we don't need to mess with that. This one down here, we need to combine those guys and make it one fraction. So my LCD on this one is going to be xy. So I'm going to multiply this one by x over x and this one by y over y. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this one over up here. And down here, I'll get x over xy um, minus 4y. Okay, and that's over xy. Now we're going to treat this as a um, division problem. So I'll have an x squared minus 16y squared over xy times, and I'm going to flip this one, I've got an xy over x minus 4y. Okay, we can cancel those guys out right off the bat. I'm going to factor this one. Looks like a difference of squares to me. So when I do that, I'm going to get x minus 4y times x plus 
4y up there. Then down here, I'm going to have an x minus 4y, that one right there. And then these guys right here will cancel out, and my answer is x plus 4y. All right, now let's take a look at method number two. And in method number two, we like to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the LCD. And you find the LCD for all of your um, fractions. So when I take a look at this one here, I have three, a four, a two, and an eight. Okay, so what number does all of those go into? Which is 24. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this by every term by 24. In all actuality, what I'm doing is I'm multiplying this by 24 over 24, and it is being distributed to everything in there. So that 24 actually ends up next to everything. So I'm just going to write it down next to everything. Okay, and if you need to put these guys over one, it helps line things up. Okay, so now let's take a look at just this box here. Is there anything you can cancel out? Well, three goes in here once and it goes in here eight times. Multiply straight across and I get an eight out of that. Here's my minus sign right here. Okay, now we're taking a look at just this box here. Four goes in here once, goes in here six times. Multiply straight across, I get six over one, which is six. Eight minus six is two. Okay, let's go down here. Let's do this box right here. Two goes in here once, goes in here 12 times. So multiply straight across and I get 12 over one, which is 12. Here's my plus sign. Eight goes in here once, goes in here three times. Multiply straight across, I get three over one, which is three. 12 plus three is 15. So we get two fifteenths. Now when I have two fractions over um, two fractions, well anything besides one fraction over one fraction, I actually prefer this method too. Okay, this problem here, example number one, um, I would prefer to use method number one, but it's going to work with method number two. So take a look at your two um, denominators. I'm going to use y to the fifth. I'm going to multiply by y to the fifth over y to the fifth. That's multiplying by one. It's not going to change the value. Okay, so if it helps, put it over one. Got a different color here. So let's do this part right here. Okay, and that's being multiplied together. So I have five y's up here and two y's down here. Subtract it from that, they'll give me a y cubed. So I got y cubed up there, and then I have um, times a two x cubed. So that's gonna give me two x cubed y cubed. Okay, let's take a look at this box. Those guys are gonna cancel out, and that leaves me a four, Okay, so this down here is over 4x. Okay, um, take a look at it, see if you can um, reduce it down at all. 2 goes in here once, goes in here twice. I got 3x's up here and 1 down here. So when I take that up, it'll be a minus 1, which gives me a 2. So this leaves me with, um, up top, I got an x squared y cubed. And down here, all they have left is a 2. Okay, let's do this next problem using the same method. Try to find your LCD using um, the three um, denominators you have. So it's going to be x, y. All right, so I am going to multiply the top and bottom by x, y. It will get distributed to everything, so it'll go here and it'll go here. So I'm going to just write down x, y over there as well. Okay, let's take a look at this box right here. 
Uh, and it helps to put it over one if you, you need to put it that one there. So it just really helps to line things up. Okay, so here my Y's will cancel out and all that I'm left with is an X. Let's go to the next box. I'm gonna put my plus sign here. Over here, my X's cancel out, so all I'm left with is a Y. And down here, let's do this one. X, Y cancels out, leaves me a one. And when you have anything over one, it's X plus Y. There you go. Okay, next one. Using method number two, I want to find my LCD taking into account all four of those. So I'm thinking that's going to be 4x squared. So I'm going to multiply 4x squared over 4x squared. And remember, that's going to get distributed to both of those. So I'm going to write 4x squared right next to each and every term. Put it over 1 if you want to helps line up okay so let's take a look at this box right here two goes in here once goes in here twice that x is going to take out one of those x's so all i'm left with over there is a 4x okay here's my plus sign let's take a look at this box now um x squared we'll take out that x squared two goes in here once goes in here twice so i'll get a 2y over there over. Okay, let's take a look at this box. That 4 is going to cancel out that 4, and that's going to leave me an x squared. And then over here, got a plus sign. That 4 takes out that 4. That one will take out one of those, and that leaves me an xy. All right, let's see what we got here. Up here, I could factor out a 2 and I would be left with 2x plus y. Down here, I could factor out an x, and I get an x plus y. Um, so nothing is going to cancel out. That is going to be it. Let me see. It's in, ooh, something happened there. That should have been a 2x. What happened over there? It should have been a 2 inside of there. 2x squared. That's definitely a 4. Okay. What did I do? Alright, well you get the idea of how that works. Okay, number 4 here is um, put it over once. Okay, x plus 1 is my LCD, so I'm just going to write it down to next to each and every one of these. Put it over a 1. Okay, let's take a look at this box. Those guys cancel, leaving me a 1. Let's take a look at this box here. Nothing cancels. So um, you need to distribute that too, so that's gonna become a two x plus two. Down here, let's take a look at this one. Those guys cancel, leaves me a one. Then I got my plus sign. Um, need to distribute the three, and I'll get a three x plus three. Let's put together like terms now, so I'll get a two x plus three up here. And down here, I'll have a 3x plus 4. And that's the end of that one. Okay, next one. I have three fractions up here and three fractions down here. Um, method number two is the best way to go. At least I think so. Okay, so put those over one. Find my LCD for every one of my denominators, which is an x squared. I'm going to write that down next to each and every term. Okay, let's take a look at this. Nothing cancels, so that leaves me a 3x squared. There's my plus sign. Take a look at this. This one will take that out, so that's plus 5x. Then minus, and those guys cancel out, leaves me a 2. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Nothing's going to cancel. 
So that's going to give me a 3x squared minus sign. Take a look at this one. That's going to take that out. That'll give me 10x. And then there's a plus sign there. And those guys are going to cancel. Gives me a 3. Okay. So I did the work on this one already. And it factors into uh, 3x minus 1, x plus 2. Down here, you're going to have a 3x minus 1 times an x minus 3. 3, okay, those guys there are going to cancel out, so this is your answer right there. All right, um, okay, I figured out what happened on this one right here. Um, there's a 2 right up there, that 4 got canceled out, so this right here should have been a 2, so when I factor out a 2, that will become a 1. And when I have that there, then these guys here will cancel out. And all that I have left is a 2 over the x. So there you go. Thanks. Bye.